hi guys i hope you're doing great today now you see this area in behind me that's our driveway we are getting it ready for gravel so we just got the grading done and uh, the coolest thing about this all is that i have gotten some more gardening space my friends i'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what the plans are for this area okay so let me just scoot way out way out here in this country road to show you the driveway and garden now initially the plan was to put garden extend the garden over this section because we were thinking oh forget about the wrap around let's just do garden in this section coming from the middle there all the way across here but we have changed that decision so let me show you what's going to happen here let me go on in over here we've always maintained that we're going to extend the garden from back there to the front area here because really we don't need the driveway to be all the way in we don't want that much gravel in the space and so we have extended this gardening area and it goes all the way up to the area that i've shown you guys before which i've started working on now there's nothing much here to see because i'm just it's in progress next summer it's gonna look good guys so that area it's looking a little better because I've gotten in a few more plants. I've gotten in some marigolds and there is um, oriental onions in the front and hostas. And when those oriental onions start blooming, it's going to be so pretty because they're going to be fluffy, big pink balls to go along with all those pink echinacea in the back but that's it guys the driveway is gonna come straight up across here and in the front here i've actually asked my husband to think about giving me an arbor in the front here all the way across because the idea is in the back of this garden patch over here i will be putting in some taller plants like maybe some um, hollyhock and fox gloves and i don't want any trees there but i'll be putting in taller shrubs um, like the ones i just mentioned to create more of a secret garden effect and that is why i want the arbor here too because i don't like how the space is just opened i have zones so i want to make them feel like they're hugging you when you're in the spaces right now turn around back here we're now gonna have a wraparound of sorts so what we're gonna do is pull the planter in the middle here down a little bit more and then i'm gonna remove i've agreed with my husband to remove all the rocks and the flowers that are the plants that are around the planter and just leave the planter by itself in the middle here and then instead of having the garden over here over here i'm going to be getting some more space initially over here was supposed to be a pad a parking pad and there will be a parking pad but it will be pushed forward a little bit so now my garden is going to extend from where it stops there and it's going to go all the way across and meet with that garden bed that's just in front of my studio, my design and sewing studio. And I have lots of antique stuff in there too, guys. A lot of handcrafted stuff. Check it out online. It's valerinevernon.com, my name.com. And uh, you can go from there to my Etsy shop, to my Facebook, my Instagram. 
basically that's what it's gonna be guys so i am so looking forward to this garden expansion because over there i have a swing and i have planted flowers in front of it i'm making a pathway here which will um, put gravel on to extend it all the way back and then it will empty out here on the gravel wrap around thank you guys so much for supporting the channel for subscribing liking sharing and commenting by the way if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button you guys take care now and i'll see you in the next video